r slash ask reddit. What's your favorite a man walks into a bar joke? I have read a variation of this joke, but it went a bit different. An American, a Frenchman and a German entered a competition. There were three challenges, downing a gallon of whiskey, going into a lion room, and kill it with bare hands, and having sex with a beautiful nymphomaniac continuously for 12 hours. You can choose the order of the tasks. The American went in the lion room first, at the end of the day they wheeled his corpse out. The Frenchman opted to have sex with the lady as his first task, and after a few hours he was taken to the hospital. The German, after having watched the others going down, downed the whiskey. Then he drunkenly stumbled into the lion room. After about half a day hearing the lion going from roaring aggressively to whimpering, people came in to wheel its corpse out. The German, emerged victoriously but still sloppy drunk and badly disheveled, said, the lady was rough. Now where's the lion at? An Englishman, an Irishman, a Scotsman, a Welshman, a Frenchman, a German, an Italian, a Swede, two Finns, a Norwegian, a Dane, a Greenlander, an Austrian, a Hungarian, a Pole, a Lithuanian, a Latvian, an Estonian, a Russian, a Turk, an Egyptian, a Palestinian, an Israeli, a Greek, a Macedonian, a Moldovan, a Chinese guy, a Japanese guy, a Laotian, a Vietnamese guy, a Cambodian, a North Korean, a South Korean, an American, a Mexican, a Canadian, a Brazilian, an Australian, a New Zealander, a South African, a Libyan, a Moroccan, a Spaniard and a Cuban try to walk into a fancy cocktail bar. The bouncer says, sorry, lads, you can't come in without a tie. A chemist and a mathematician walk into a bar the chemist ask for H2O and drink it. The mathematician ask for H2O2, drink it and dies. An infinite number of mathematician walk into a bar the first one ask for pint, the second a half, the third a quarter and so on. Then barman gives them two pints, and say you mathematicians don't know your limits. A guy walks into a bar and starts a drunken conversation with one of the patrons. Hey what are you drinking? The patron asks. Magic beer. Says the guy. After arguing about it for a few minutes the guy says I'll prove it to you. They go outside, and walk to a nearby cliff. The guy chugs his magic beer, then jumps off. Miraculously he floats back up, and settles down next to the stunned patron. The patron runs back to the bar, and says to the bartender I want what he's having. Pointing to the guy, the patron chugs his magic beer, runs over to the cliff, and plummets to his death. The guy walks back inside smiling, and orders another beer. The bartender shakes his head, and says you know, Superman, you can be a real asshole. An Irishman walks into a bar in New York City and orders three pints of beer. He drinks each one in turn, and walks out. The next night he returns, and again orders three pints of beer, and then again the next night. The bartender offers to serve them consecutively, so they won't go flat, but the Irishman explains, I'd rather see them all lined up before me. I left two brothers behind in Ireland, and since we used to meet at the pub every night, and have a pint together, I feel closer to them, when I come drink my pint and there too. This goes on for a year, and then one night, the Irishman fails to come in. The regulars are concerned, and then saddened, when he returns a few nights later, and orders only two pints of beer. When the bartender serves him, he says, I see you didn't order a beer for one of your brothers. My condolences on your loss. My brothers are still alive, the Irishman says. I didn't order my own beer, my wife made me promise to give up drinking. Guy walks into a bar, grabs a seat and orders a whiskey double, neat. The bartender prepares his drink with great delicacy, and brings it right over. The gentleman reaches into his blazer searching frantically. This catches the bartender's attention, so he monitors the patron out the corner of his eye. Finally the man finds what he's looking for, and sighs a sigh of relief. He pulls out a straw and takes a sip of his whiskey. The perplexed bartender grabs his attention I'm terribly sorry sir, was your glass dirty? To which the man replies surprised oh no no everything's fine. I just promised my wife I'd never put my lips on another glass of whiskey again. A mushroom walked into a bar. 
The bartender says we don't serve your kind here, and the mushroom says come on, I'm a fun guy. Three pieces of string walk into a bar. They sit down at a table and the first string walks up to the bartender and asks for three drinks. The bartender says we don't serve pieces of string here, so the first piece of string goes back to the table. The second piece heads up to the bartender and orders three drinks. The bartender says we don't serve pieces of string here, so the second piece of string goes back to the table. The third piece ties himself around his two buddies and they head up to the bar and he orders three drinks. The bartender says hey, ain't you one of them pieces of string? And the third string says nope, I'm afraid not. A German, a Frenchman, and a Irishman all walk into a pub. They sit down at the bar and order a round of drinks. The German orders himself a beer, the Frenchman a glass of red wine, and the Irishman a glass of whiskey. The pub is dirty and service is slow. When the three men finally get served, there is all something amiss with their drinks. The German's pint glass has a lipstick stain on the edge, the Frenchman has a hair floating in his wine, and the Irishman has dead fruit flies in his whiskey. The three men look at this drinks, and each one reacts differently. The German simply wipes off the lipstick with a napkin and starts drinking. The Frenchman doesn't touch his wine, and sends it back. The Irishman starts picking out the flies and yells at them. Spit it out, you wee little bastard. Spit it out. A man walked into a bar and sat down and ordered a beer. As he sipped the beer, he heard a soothing voice say nice tie. Looking around, he noticed that the bar was empty except for himself and the bartender at the end of the bar. A few sips later the voice said beautiful shirt. At this, the man called the bartender over. Hey I must be losing my mind. He told the bartender. I keep hearing these voices saying nice things and there's not a soul in here but us. It's the peanuts, answered the bartender. Say what? You heard me, said the barkeep. It's the peanuts they're complimentary. A man enters the bar and orders three drinks all to himself. After drinking the three the bartender asks, why do you order three for yourself? Smiling, the man replied, me and my brothers always drink together once every year, but since we live far apart we all enter a bar on the same date and order three drinks. The bartender nods in understanding as the man leaves. Next year the man walks in only ordering two drinks. As he hands in the two he says I'm sorry for your loss. The man replied with, it's okay, I quit drinking. A Texan walks into a bar in Dublin and says, in Texas we know how to drink. I hear your Irish are supposed to be some good drinkers. I got $100 that says no no you can drink 10 beers without getting sick. The room is silent and no one moves, except for one guy who gets up and slips out the back door. And the Texan say, ha I knew that was a bunch of baloney. Y'all got nothing on Texas. He orders a beer and settles in. About 15 minutes later the guy who slipped out the back walks back in and tells the Texan he'll take him up on the bed. The bartender pours out 10 beers and the man quaffs them straight away. The Texan is stunned. As he's pulling out the $100 to pay off his bet, he says I'm impressed. But I have to ask, where did you go when I first got here? And the man replies, I slipped on down to the next pub to make sure I could do it. A man walks into a bar. The bartender asks, why the long face? The man replies, I just found out my wife is sleeping with another man. I've decided I'm going to drink myself to death. The bartender looks shocked and says, I'm sorry I can't help you kill yourself. The man asks, well what would you do in my situation? The bartender puffs himself up a bit and says, if I found out a guy was sleeping with my wife I wouldn't sit around feeling sorry for myself, I'd kill the guy. The man jumps up from his stool and shouts, that's a great idea, thanks, and runs out of the bar. A couple hours goes by and the bartender is starting to get nervous when the man walks back into the bar with a smile on his face. Did you kill a guy? The bartender asks nervously. Nope. I slept with your wife. Whiskey please. 